Hi guys, so this is going to be the assembly video for the um, Fayetech G3 gimbal going on to the Phantom board. Um, this is the original gimbal, um, it was on the original board uh, beforehand which was a lot taller than this. This is the separate Phantom board that I've purchased from First Person View. Um, I've done an unboxing of that so look at my other videos, you'll see that if you want to look at it. This is just going to be the assembly which should be fairly straightforward. So it does come with instruction manuals which are relatively clear. So first things first is a spring washer into the holes for the actual clamp and then these are M2 screws. What's nice that they've changed um, is that these two screws that actually mount into the motor uh, they're now hex then they weren't before they were posi drive i believe um, which was a bit of a fiddle so now they're all using the same size thread okay so that mounts on Okay, so that is in place. Then let's get some dampeners in place. Everyone's favourite part of these gimbals. Now, there was an issue with the original gimbal uh, where the provided dampeners were, frankly, rubbish. Uh, they were so soft that actually it came to a point where using the gimbal without the dampener board was actually a much better result than it was using them with them. Um, Fairtech, to be fair to them, saw this on the forums, uh, responded to it and they have since supposedly updated these so these should be a lot firmer. Um, they feel a little bit firmer than they did originally I, I wouldn't say they feel anything like as firm as I would maybe want them um, they do they don't feel as firm as DJI ones for example and I don't think they've made the holes any bigger so they won't actually fit the DJI more solid spheres again right Okay, so that is the top board all good to go. Now when you mount it to the Phantom you're supposed to use these little these little nylon o-rings I believe so they won't stay there so I will take them off. Okay. Interesting. So the other interesting thing to notice on this design compared to the original design is that the the board actually has the gimbal hanging from the, the lower board. So rather than actually as it was beforehand, this board would sit on top of it and it would be the spheres would be compressed. Um, so the weight of the gimbal would be compressing this which actually makes them a lot firmer on this design they're no longer compressed so it'll be interesting to see whether or not that's actually going to um, be a, a good thing or a bad thing uh, it makes life 
for fitting a little bit easier because all you have to do is actually attach these nuts, uh, these bolts onto uh, onto this bracket, and then you've just got to fiddle about with the um, rather annoying. Spheres. Okay. So immediately I see a big problem with their instruction manual because their instruction manual suggests that you screw from underneath into this board but this isn't threaded so you can't do that so I'm going to ignore their instruction manual and I'm going to do it the way that will actually work You have, to, you have to attach it down into the board. Somewhat frustrating when companies don't think about these things because that is going to get people lost pretty much straight away. No. Okay, so all that's left to do then is we just have a fight with putting these spheres through these holes. Suffice to say, I've done this a number of times before. Okay, so then we just get our plug, pop that in the board, and that is our gimbal all sorted. And then to mount it to the Phantom, let me just bring the Phantom. This is a, this is actually just a Phantom One shell. Um, reason being that just in front of me here is my. Phantom 2 shell with the Phantom 1 parts in it, which I've managed to successfully do. Um, there is a video on that, which should be on my page by the time you see this one. Okay, so then it's just a case of two screws go into the board. You can put them all the way through there. It does give you a hole, so you can just lock that on there. And that should give you enough height. So, that is everything done I won't fit the GoPro because it's on my head um, so yeah so just to reiterate that let me just take my cam off so the instruction manuals here suggest that the screws go up through this bracket which is threaded into the bottom plate uh, now think that through these are just holes this is a thread you thread that through ties the screws down to the bracket very nicely and then they just stick out of two holes as soon as you do that it falls off I mean it wouldn't even mount it's just completely nonsensical so I haven't done it that way I have screwed them down through the board so they actually hold on to the bracket so bear that in mind anyway I'm sure by the time you're looking at this they probably revised it um, like I say that is a that is a bit of a silly one um, 
as uh, as it goes. Uh, the other thing that we'll just take a quick look at. Like I say, this is actually this is my Phantom. What is technically speaking a Phantom 1.5 because it's a Phantom 2 shell, but it's got all of the Phantom 1 bits inside it. Uh, I had to put the LED somewhere else, so it's now at the front. Uh, there's a video on that, like I say, by the time that you're watching this, it should be there. I've got the Zenmove bracket on there um, at the moment. However, I think you'll find, basically, that, no, the Phantom, yeah, so the Phantom bracket, the Phantom bracket that comes with the FYG3 does not work on the Phantom 2. So, no doubt at some point, Fairtech will realise this and they will come out with a Phantom 2 version of it. Uh, to be honest, looking at it, just trying to see where the actual power distribution goes, you can probably get away with drilling some holes for that. So I might just try that later because I'm going to be using this from now on. So I'm going to need to do that. So yeah, probably another video on that. Anyway, so that's the phantom board. Let me move that out of the way. FIG3 with the phantom board on it. More tests to come. Um, like I say, I'm one of the first people in the UK to have this. I've done a whole blog on it. Um, I would like to see this succeed because I think actually fundamentally if the roll drift problem that they had on the original firmware is sorted um, and as long as these dampeners are so more solid this will be a really good versatile solid gimbal for people to use um, I've now got a Zugong 10 which is kind of like a TBS discovery frame so the idea of being able to mount it to the front of that will make life a lot more easily done than actually mounting my Zenmoose which I have done if you've seen all the videos on that as well anyway so that's the video on that so stay tuned for more on the latest firmware and fitting this to uh, the Phantom 2